13 celebrities have graced our screens and salsa'd in secret. Week by week, incredible. they are eliminated and unmasked. Astronaut. Pick. Prawn Cocktail. And Cactus. Tonight, all eight remaining masked dancers come together for the first time. Sea Slug, Pearly King, Onomatopoeia, Tomato Sauce, Pillar and Post, Odd Socks, Scissors, and Candlestick. Plus, in a must dancer first, there's a shock exit as not one, not two, but three celebrities are unmasked tonight. and tonight all our remaining characters are united at last. That's right, we have a full house and call me if your boiler's broken because I'm the landlord of the dance. <laughs> Tonight, for the first time this series, we are going to hear our celebrities' actual speaking voices. What? Yes, really. It's all happening tonight. In fact, it's been a particularly eventful week, especially for one of our masked dancers, but more on that later on. Now, when it comes to spotting celebrities in disguise, these guys are easily in the top, like, seven billion in the world. <laughs> It's the panel, everybody! We are top seven billion. Yay! Oh, come on, it's slipping. It's slipping. <laughs> when he's around, anything is rossable. It's Jonathan oh, Ross! Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I like my detectives like I like my flapjacks. OT. <laughs> it's OT <laughs> Mabuse! She crisscrosses out loads of names in her book. It's Wiggada 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 Mac. It's the Vita McCall. I love that. That was a good one. Uh, and when he walks through my front door, I have to remind him, Peter, crouch. Yeah. Oh, Peter. I'm joking. He doesn't come to my house. It's Peter Crouch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. And Guys, I bring very, very exciting news. You've heard of a Joker card, right? Yeah, yes. Okay. Well, tonight, you could play the Joker card. Oh. <laughs> so if one character's identity has you royally stumped, you can hold up the Joker card, and I will reveal an all-new, big, or juicy uh, clue. Oh. But you can only use it once. I've got one person I'm struggling with. I've got every single person that I'm struggling yeah. with. So you say you've got one person you're struggling with. Does that mean me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. Remember, the jester knows the best. <laughs> the panel, everybody. <laughs> All of tonight's dance routines, the studio audience will vote for their favourites. The two characters with the fewest votes will then face the panel and it will be up to them to decide who is unmasked. Don't forget, there are clues as far as the eye can see, so pay close attention to the performances as well as the clue packages, parts of which feature stunt doubles or Sutan Tutaburu in Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Right, let's get detecting. Uh, try to spot the clues in the chorography. <laughs> it's Sea Slug! Yeah! <laughs> performance took a dive into the dance hall, but when it comes to my name, the panel are floundering. 
Wondering. Molly May. Clara Enfo. Maya Jama. Kimberly Wyatt. So they'll have to see what clues I give them this week. It says 1996 on it. Okay, let's get deep for a moment. We're in the ocean after all. I might be a sea slug, but if there's one thing you can't accuse me of, it's being sluggish. Oh, no, 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 no. no. So she's energetic. I love a challenge. That Looks like it was Greek. And I've travelled the seven seas to put myself to the test. Red Nose Day. I do like to seek out new adventures, and I'm always on the lookout for new skills to learn. Down under. Take the mask dancer, for example. I'm very claustrophobic, so this was my fear factor number one. My slug skin might be iridescent, but there's a couple of colours you probably know me for best. So it could be like a team colour. A sporting someone, yeah. Tonight, I'm hoping to be cha 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 amazing. Speed dating. Somebody who's been on a dating show. Love Island. suits go. <laughs> <laughs> Oti, what did you think? That was absolutely incredible, Cisla. Wow! <laughs> what I loved about that was that it wasn't only just a cha-cha. You have combinations of a salsa, you have a bit of Argentine lifts there. So, looking at your clues, for me, I saw a vase that was a big Greek vase, and I thought Olympics, athletes, and I thought maybe Serana. Dina Asher Smith. Oh, I didn't seem to agree with that. But then you did that cha cha. And I thought, who could do that and run? And that made me think Denise Lewis. Oh! I think you're probably right. It is a sporty person. Because I was thinking Sharon yes. Davis because of the C references and all that. I wonder whether it could be Sharon Davis in there. OK. Peter. In the VC, I saw like a vase or an antique led me down that antiques roadshow vibe. Fiona Bruce. Oh. Wow. I danced with her at a wedding, actually. S similar shapes. <laughs> <laughs> Davida, what are you thinking? I was thinking there was a previous clue where she said Tom Jones likes to ask me stuff. So I'm going to go with Vic Hope. Yeah. Vic Hope worked on the voice. Do you want another clue? Yes, yes, please. OK, in an exciting development tonight, we're going to hear our celebrities' actual, oh. real-life voices completely undistorted. You're oh. only getting one word, though, but it will be meaningful. OK, oh. let's play Word Up. Sea Slug, after the count of three, you will speak. Are you ready, panel? Yes. yes. Here we go. Goddess. Goddess. 
I know that voice. Do you know it? What? Who is it? Who is it? That's Denise Lewis. You think it's Denise Lewis with that voice? Yes. Well, who's beneath our reef? Up from the reef. We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Cecla. <laughs> Have the panel hit the snail on the head with these guesses. Who do you think's behind the mask? I really spice things up out there tonight. And the panel seem to think I'm sporty. Oh, jog on. On with the investigation now, and up next, they have to dance. It's a clause in their contract. It's Pearly King. In my last performance, I'm a right jazzy blazer. Oh! The panel thought I might be the king of the jungle. George Swash, Tom Hardy. I think it's Gino De Campo. But they'll need to keep hunting if they want to catch my real name. How's about I tell you an all weep and well? Is a story of a young cub. X in the background. Right, X factor. He's often stray in different directions to his pride. Eventually, he packed up his crowded space and ventured out into the world. London to Hollywood. So somebody went to America. Thanks to a departure, he was able to make his arrival a roaring success. Made the name out there. Tonight, forget Simba. It's time for this lion to suffer. <laughs> I thought Pearly King was amazing, wasn't yeah. Pearly King? Yeah. But you know, Pearly King's grown on me because Pearly King was quite aggressive with you earlier on, wasn't he? I feel like he's softened to me. Yeah, he's really taken to you. <laughs> you know what? I think we're getting more clues from Pearly King when he isn't dancing. Yes. yes. When he is, because the way he is, the way he's laughing and joking, I think it's Gino De Campo, ladies and gentlemen. You know what, how this person acts sounds like another Italian. Mm -hmm. I think this is Bruno Tonioli. Hold on a second. I said to you, Stop is me. that a professional dancer? And you said, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next week... Yeah, yeah. I do think you've danced before. I do also remember the ticket that said Hollywood and London yeah, and yeah. Bruno worked oh, yes. on Strictly <laughs> and Dancing with the Stars. I think <laughs> you could well be right. It's just going to be embarrassing for you if it is Bruno. I'm going to lose my job. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> 
So the big X at the start of the VT could be X marks the spot, so it could be a mark. And then I know someone who flew from London to Hollywood and interviewed people. I'm definitely right, it's Mark Wright. Oh! Yeah. Davina, what do you think it is? I think that the tickets tonight, like you said, he was working on Strictly yes. and Dancing with Stars, Bruno Tonioli. OK, interesting. Hey, high five. You guys want another clue? Yes, yes, yes. please. OK, on the count of three, we're going to hear Pearly King's oh. actual voice. Here we go. Budges. Budges. Oh, my gosh. That's not his voice. Budges. Oh, that has thrown you. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, we're just... I don't know what's <laughs> happening at this point in my career. <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, who's the big cat inside the big hat? We'll only know when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Pearly King. Yeah. Oh, he's great. Are there pearls of wisdom in the panel's guesses? Who do you think's beneath the main? The panel can handle this king's moves. I certainly was amazing. Join us after the break when Onomatopoeia will appear and their real voice you will hear. See ya! <laughs> Dancer. I'm telling you, the party doesn't stop during the break. Crouchy was twerking, and who knew Jonathan Ross could do the helicopter? <laughs> Matt. Dancing next. They've got more vowels than Vorderman could ever dream of. <laughs> Eight. It's on a mat up here. Last time, the panel kicked around some names. David James. Richard Ayoagi. Could be Zachary Quinto in there. But they're not even close to getting a result anytime soon. Result? I think, yes. Football, Football. result. Life can be a game, and I'm always up for a challenge. I am a form of wordplay, after all. This is Colombian. Coffee beans. But I like to stay busy, which means always starting your day right. Start your, start day, your right. day right. A good brekkie goes a long way. It's yummy. I like to think I have natural drive. It's good to be in control of your own journey. It's time for mass. And I certainly have learned how to steer my career in all sorts of directions. Even though I've travelled the world, I like to keep it green and clean, if I can. Missing donkey. Loads of football references. Tonight, I'm bringing the drama with a theatrical jazz routine. This is so confusing.
to do it, everybody. Such a good dancer. I enjoyed that very, wow. very much. On the matter of fee, smash that. That's so good. Crunchy. Oh. Come to your first. That had everything in it. Absolutely oh. loved it. I have to say, um, I've had dreams like that. <laughs> 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 I did love it. I did love it. And I went on another massive journey. <laughs> um, they mentioned Green, okay. and uh, I was got white into Al Green, Rob Green, Rachel Green, Seth Green, Eva Green. I went to the Incredible Hulk at one stage, uh, who's green. And then there was football references as well in there. They mentioned Wright as well, so I went, I thought Ian Wright potentially. Yeah. yeah. I think that's a good one. Well done. Good guess. Davina, what are you thinking? You and I were having a chat about yeah. Donkey and what that means in terms of the Football, score. yeah, making mistakes. Making Someone mistakes. who was called a donkey at young age. And they played for Arsenal. Correct. Football. Tony Adams. Tony Adams. Oh. I saw the donkey and then I thought, Richard Blackwood. Because he played donkey in Shrek the Music. That's true. a brilliant okay. idea. Jonathan, mm. do you think it's Richard Blackwood? Absolutely not. <laughs> no. <laughs> the person I'm thinking of once wrote an introduction for a children's book, it's for charity, about donkeys. Mm. And I know he loves the show because he watches it with his kids. And that's David Tennant, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Can you dance like that? He can, of course he can. We can no. all dance like that. Dancing's easy, Odie, despite <laughs> what you say. Now... Everyone <laughs> 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 Do you want another clue? Yes. Oh, well, Odie, before we do, do you think we should use our joker card here or should we save it? No. I think we're doing quite well on this okay. one. I think there are others we're struggling on more. What do you yes. think? Let's yeah, save it. Let's save it. Okay. Save it. Okay. okay, time for another <laughs> round of Word <laughs> Up. After three, Onomatopoeia is going to give us a clue okay. in their own undistorted voice. Here we go. Who are you? Three, two, one. Swankified. Swankified. <laughs> swankified. What does swankified mean? No one knows. No one knows what swankified it means. Anyone, anyone here been swankified? Swanky. Is it? Swanky. It's swanky like posh. The voice. Did you hear anything? The actual. It didn't sound like Ian White, did it, Peter? It no, sounds it didn't. like theatrical. <laughs> yeah, mm. somebody in the theatre. <laughs> Well, who's taking up room inside the boom? We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's on a matter of here. Yeah. Do the panel have any idea who is on a matter of here? Who do you think's behind the mask? I had so much fun doing that routine. But the panel, please, they're not even close. Or are they? After the break, tomato sauce causes a red alert. Who's that behind the mask? Who's that behind the mask? Welcome back to the Vast Dancer. I just can't, I just can't, I just can't control my feet. Coming up, we have a very important delivery update from Pillar and Post, but right now, our next dancer loves a little sachet. It's tomato sauce. Last time around, the panel thought they'd landed a scoop with my name. I'm gonna go with Connie Huck. Steph McGovern. Nigella. But are they there yet? I can't tell you that. If anyone knows the recipe for success, well, then it's simply got to be tomato sauce. There's so many food clues. She's lovely. But what's our secret? I think it's that we're able to make even the most drab of dishes that much easier to digest. Even as an underripe tomato... Tips. Worked in a restaurant. I was getting a taste for achievement. So they very ambitious. A hunger which I gladly indulged and now actively encourage. She's flirty. To talk to some of the people I have, well, it takes some bottle. Talk to people, so it's like a talk show host. But I must admit I've been left red-faced on occasion. I am a tomato, after all. <laughs> Tonight. Prepare to see a tomato sauce get down to disco.
move again. So wonderful. Davina, I'm going to come to you first. OK. <laughs> OK. Tomato <laughs> sauce, that was amazing. Well done. I had mentioned the name Nigella Lawson because I kept seeing the references to mm. food week after week, but I feel like this is someone a smidge younger. You've mentioned this name before. Yeah. Um, because of Irish dancing. Yes. And I know that this person works in Leeds. Yes. And we saw all those dog leads. Yes. Ah. Underneath the bench. Yes. yes. So I think it's Steph McGovern. Oh, I like it. I yes. like it. Peter Crouch. Oh, look, can I just say I'm a big fan of this sauce, by the way? Yes. 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 Um, I've got a bit of a mad shout here, but bear with me. OK. The dog leads, she was on a show called Pooch Perfect, and last week they said about the usual suspects and confession, I thought she was in the hustle. There was roses everywhere. She was in Bridesmaids. And um, Rebel Wilson is my guess. Oh! Ooh. Felt like that was a little bit, like, sympathy clap, but I'll go with it. <laughs> Jonathan, what are you thinking? When I saw the dog lead, I was thinking, could the dog leads, could it be Claire Balding, who's famous for hosting yeah. Crafts? Then I was thinking, clue is in the colour, ladies and gentlemen. It's from Simply Red. It is Mick Hucknall. <laughs> what hell? That's who it is. It's Mick Hucknall. You actually get an applause yes. for that as well. Hello, Mick. How are you doing? <laughs> Somehow they got more of an applause than Peter's actual <laughs> guest. <laughs> Osi, what are you thinking? First of all, that was such a fun, fun, Lovely. fun, fun performance. So well done for that. So there was something about tips. This is someone who's gotten tips from her mother, from cooking. Maybe this could be Nadia Hussein. <laughs> but the more I see it, I still think Steph McGovern. I think you guys need a word up clue. On the count of three, let's hear Tomato Sauce's clue. Oh, they've got it. B. Yeah. Yeah, that is Steph. Steph. So you well, think it sounds like Steph. Mm. OK. Jonathan, has that made you think it's not Claire Balding? I don't know, but I'd like to squeeze Tomato's head. <laughs> 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 hey, not in an aggressive way, in a loving way. Joel, could you squeeze Tomato's head for me? Run! Yeah, it's actually very satisfying, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's bottled up in there? We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for tomato sauce. Love you! Have the panel lifted the lid on tomato sauce's identity? Who do you think's behind the mask? The panel had me totally blushing with all those guesses. I mean, look at my face. Back to the clues now. Luckily, we're all in, so they won't get left with a neighbour. It's Pillar and Post! You know, once the 
performance we spun ourselves from pillar to post. I think it's David Seaman and his wife Frankie. Ben Cohen and Christina. I'm one with it, Susanna Weed and Richard Maidley. Hey, kitty girls! Here we go again! It's great to learn a new discipline. That sounded slightly northern. Yeah, yeah, northern. Discipline is something that's always played a big role in both our lives. But dancing is something we both had to learn. It's a safe step. So what do you think that's about? That's a, a nickname. Ah, oh, OK, safe. Dancing has never been Poe's strong points, although you could say he's flash at it. Ha-ha! <laughs> I've always liked a challenge. Garden. Someone's doing gardening. Learning to dance has just been another set of hurdles we've learned to overcome. We've had to work together to build a connection. But there's an even bigger connection between me and my mask. Tonight, we've got some news to deliver. Now, we were hoping to see another amazing performance from Pillar and Post tonight, but sadly, Pillar took a tumble during rehearsals, and I am absolutely gutted to tell you but on medical advice, they've had to withdraw from the competition. Uh, I know, but that doesn't mean this case is all wrapped up. We still need to find out who they are. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage, Pillar and Post. <laughs> Pillar and Post, are you OK? Guys, this oh. has been absolutely mad. Our first ever masked duo. We have absolutely loved having yeah. you on the show. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> Pillar and Post, sadly, your time on The Masked Dancer has come to an end. But before you reveal who's behind the masks, panel, can we please have your final guesses? Let's go for it. Jonathan. First of all, it's such a shame oh, we've had to go home because we've so enjoyed watching you. And, uh, I mean, Pillar, I think, is definitely someone who knows how to dance. Yes. Probably a professional dancer. Post has some moves as well. Unfortunately, they're the moves of a dad at a wedding. <laughs> the clues tonight, there was one clue about we had to work hard to connect together. Mm -hmm. And there was another clue about delivering the news. And I think these two are a couple who have both hosted Have I Got News For You. She presents Only Connect. And I think it could be husband and wife team Victoria Cohen Mitchell and David Mitchell. OK. That's who's out there. That's interesting. Uh, OC, what are you thinking? Um, so I thought morning show, news, and I thought Dan Walker and Naga Manchetti. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Ooh, I can see that. <laughs> Davina. Um, I started off by just looking at the stature of Post <laughs> and just looking at the size against Pillar. I believe that you danced or performed together on a show. So I think it's Ben Cohen and Christina Rianoff. OK. Crowd, <laughs> what are you thinking? I have to say, I'm not surprised that uh, Pillar's injured the way the Post was thrown around. <laughs> 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 but, um, he, yeah, he's, he's, he's a very strong man. I said last time I recognise those hands and I feel like I've got this one. Uh, they're very much in love. I think they've worked together on Dancing on Ice. And um, there was a safe in the VT. Yes. Which was, you know, the person I'm thinking of, his <laughs> nickname was Safe Hands. Of course. Yay. Um, and I think it's David Seaman and his wife Frankie from Dancing on Ice. It's a good guess. Wow. Well, let's see if any of you are right. Pillar of Post, who's behind the mask? Everyone, take, take it, it off! Take 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 it off! Steven, everybody! Oh. <laughs> Legendary England goalkeeper and dancing on ice professional. Well done. You guys are so good. You guys are so good. Oh, I'm so sad to see you go with an injury. 
know. Oh. How are you feeling? You're OK? Yeah, it's not the way we wanted to go, but it's, it happens. Well, oh, guys, yeah. you were so... Honestly, weren't they so oh, brilliant? I mean, yeah. that dance, yeah. the last dance we saw you do together was so beautiful. It <laughs> literally stole everyone's yes. hearts. I'm gutted for you two. Oh, yeah. thank you. We're gutted too, actually, aren't we? Yeah, we are. It was, it was nerve-wracking. Yes, it was done here. I've played in World Cups and things, and this is a lot worse, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> I mean, we got a lot of the clothes, didn't we? <laughs> I got a few of them. You got a few. Uh, <laughs> he recognised your hands. The hands. Yes. I know, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not miss them. <laughs> <Did he do? laughs> <laughs> Peter, have you guys played together? I've played against David in a very, very good Arsenal team, but um, never got to play with him for England. But he's an absolute legend of the game and one of my heroes. How did you find learning to, to dance? My husband hates dancing. <laughs> and I, didn't even, I didn't even dance on our wedding. <laughs> <laughs> really? Like, no. And we did, we did like a little smooth. I was like, I thought we weren't dancing. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> So the safe meant safe hands, because that was your exactly. nickname. Exactly. What yeah. was the cruise ship? Why was there a cruise ship? Oh, I, I skated on cruise ships for so a few years. Wow. Does that make sense? Yeah. Can I ask you about the SR? Sheffield and Rotherham. Oh, oh I see. <laughs> You guys have been so, <laughs> so good. And I'm sorry to see you go in this way, yeah. but honestly, no, we've enjoyed yeah. you so much this far. So thank you so thank much. You. Yeah. Give it up for David and Frankie. Yeah. See you then, everyone. Yeah. Coming up, we've got performances from Odd Socks and Scissors. See you in a few. where the acts keep their famous faces in sweaty places. By that, I mean the masks. <laughs> We've still got three performances to go before another one of our acts is unmasked. And we're still waiting for the panel to play their Jolka card for the ultimate clue. OK, let's get some more clues now. You better wash yourself. It's Odd Socks! I really, really, really like Odd Socks. This is how we do Last time, the panel was still trying to peg a name on this pile of odd socks. Jill Donner Air. Jill Harpenny. Maisie Smith. Angelica Bell. But are they close? I'm not going to tell you that. Three of them, triples. So I wonder if it was someone who was in a band with three people. They say that you don't really know someone until you've walked a mile in their shoes. But me, I like to do the same, only in socks. <laughs> You can really get inside the feet of a person's character. An actor or an impressionist. Socks are part of the everyday ordinary. And I like that. Like an alien Someone or, or who's or in, like, a sci-fi drama. The greatest joy of a pair of socks is that you never get frosty feet. Maybe they played a character as a kid. There's just no nonsense with socks. Everyone has a pair. Socks can mingle with anybody and everybody. Although, don't forget to factor in giving them a good clean now and then. Otherwise, they'll get a bit feral. <laughs> Tonight, I'll leave you seeing double with my Paso Doble.
dancing. That was mad. That was so odd. It, it was like, what is going on? It was the dancing, and then there were clues, and Loved then there was it. the mouse, and then there was the, the cheese, and then the ghost med. But do you see there's a clue there of a, a coat? Pulled Could that coat. be a clue? Yes. Oh. Yeah. It is like a doctor's coat. Doctor Who? Maybe it's Jodie Whittaker? Crudgy, what are you thinking? Me and Davina went on a bit of a journey together, together. actually. Really? So we saw an alien, and also previously I saw a school uniform, and this person was also in sex education. So we're thinking X Files. Yeah. And I'm going Gillian Anderson. You go Gillian Anderson? <laughs> and I'm going David Duchovny. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Teamwork. Jonathan, what are you thinking? Well, first of all, I'm a little bit disappointed they're playing as a team, which I feel is like cheating. <laughs> yes. <laughs> However, there were so many great clues this evening, and there was one in particular. Did you see written on the fridge it said Grumpy Uncle Les? Yes. What's another word for grumpy? Irritable. Yes. You're, and you're, you're angry. Angry. Are you happy? No, you're unhappy. Sad. Unhappy. What's another word for unhappy? When you're really unhappy. Depressed. You, yes, miserable. And so <laughs> 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 so as Oti said, miserable, and at the bottom it said, Uncle Les, Les Miserables, uh. someone who's been on the West End in Les Mis. There was an X on the background somewhere. The only person I can think of who had something to do with the X Factor and Les Mis was Lucy oh, Jones. Yeah. yeah. So, say, so it could be Lucy Jones. Do you want another clue? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, we get the voice. It's word up time, people. <laughs> Insomniac. Insomniac. Has that helped? Hindered you? Hindered. Yes. It's, it's one of those voices that has put us completely off. Well, who's there beneath the footwear? We'll only know when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Odd Socks. <laughs> Have the judges paired the right celebrity to these clues? Who do you think's behind the mask? That was so much fun. The panel have no idea who I am. Fancy some more clues to cure the blues? Their snips don't lie. It's scissors. Last time on the dance floor, I rocked out. Ashley Roberts, Heidi Klum. Helen Skelton, Kelly Rowland. And I'm here to dance another day. Here's the thing. While I might not consider myself a singer first and foremost, I've still ended up in the charts. Could it be somebody from a musical? It says President there, look. And I'm not talking once or twice, but a record-breaking number of times. I even ousted a musical legend from his post. That was a real pinch-me moment. Somebody who knocked Elvis off the chart? And I love how my career has continually taken me in new directions. But that's the joy of the business. You never know where things might lead. Mammoth means big, big star. We did something on animals, an animal documentary. And a lot of my opportunities have come by pure, incredible chance. Tonight, this pair of scissors is going solo. On hairspray. Someone who normally has a booth on? Young girl, don't cry. I'll be right here when your world starts to fall. Yeah. Young girl, it's alright. Your tears will dry. Oti, proper dancer, yeah? Wow.
Absolutely. Give it up for scissors, everybody! Okay. I mean, that was honestly so breathtaking. The quality of jazz that you have to do all those jetés and the pirouettes, that is beautiful. Honestly, one of the best numbers we've yeah. seen. I feel like you have some ties to America. In the clue, you said you ousted Elvis. This is mad, right? Okay. Do you think this is Madonna? <laughs> Madonna did study dance, but last time I saw her, she couldn't even walk up a flight of stairs. <laughs> 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 Who do you think it is, Jonathan? You know, I was thinking if it was a band, and we we're talking about them maybe being in a group, maybe in a girls' group beforehand, and for some reason I was thinking the Sugar Babes, and I was thinking, could it be Heidi from the Sugar Babes? Yes. <laughs> Did you see any clues in the performance at all? I think the hairspray thing had a hairspray. bee on it. Yeah, the bee, the bee was for, for me for the biggest band from America. Steps out of someone's shadow, potentially. And the B could be Beyonce. I thought it could be Kelly Rowland. Ooh, interesting. My new favourite thing is when Peter gives a good guess and he does the coolest the smile. smile. <laughs> <laughs> you just, like, you just go, like, I'm really, really pleased with myself. Yeah, you really <laughs> are. Davina, what are you thinking? This is somebody who can really dance. Yes. And somebody that I work with on Got To Dance who just loved dance so much, and that's Kimberly Wilde. <laughs> I think that's a good shot. Do you want another clue? Yes, yeah. Please. Here we go, people. Who are you? Three, two, one. Booty-licious. Booty-licious. Booty Booty that did sound like Madonna, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do your Jolka? What do you think? Oh, yeah, let's do Should the Jolka. Let's go, come on. <laughs> 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 Okay, scissors. Your Jolka card clue is pick a card, Emmy card. That's the TV awards. TV isn't awards, it? yeah. Emmy yeah. TV in America. Okay. What talent dancing TV shows? Well, like yes. in America, it's Dancing with the Stars. So oh, could've... this could be Julian Half from Dancing with the Stars. My heart is pounding. Who's the total ledge with the cutting edge? We'll only know when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Scissors! <laughs> Have the panel got a slice of the action with these guesses? Who do you think Scissors is? That was my favourite performance yet. The audience loved it, and the panel is more confused than ever. We're getting closer to another unmasking, but not before one last performance from Candlestick. You won't want to miss it. Welcome back to The Masked Dancer, where we ask all of the important questions like who, how, and most importantly, huh? <laughs> we have just one more performance before our studio audience vote for their favourites. They're light on their feet, literally. Is there a, is there a candlestick? It's candlestick! <laughs> Last time, I lit up the dance floor. The panel are still in the dark as to who I am. Andrew Robson. Ronan Keating. Danny Wallace. Chris Hoy. Maybe I can help shed some more light on things for them. Life really is one rich tapestry, if I do say so myself. And I do! <laughs> you weave a tapestry, footballers weave. Fashion. And candlesticks have been a part of it, always. You'll find us in the past, we'll be there in the future, and we're currently in the, what's the word I'm looking for? Hmm, the now. Stanley Holmes, do you think that's a clue? 
It might be an acting thing. A candlestick will add texture to any occasion. Always in the best of taste. We're here to bring the ambience in it. And somebody's that works in America. I said in it, slang. And of course, we're the centerpiece of any celebration. Tonight, my jive is going to be on fire. Wasn't that so brilliant? The that energy. was fantastic. It was so much fun. Those flicks, those kicks. You were on time. You were matching with the professional dancers as well. It was incredible. High fives. But I'm thinking, right, maybe because they mentioned the past, the future, and the present. Maybe and this now. is someone who, who has sung before and they used to sing, then they took a break. Maybe someone from JLS. Okay. And I thought uh, Marvin Humes. Could be Marvin. They're all incredible dancers. Davina, who do you think it is? I just heard one thing. Life is really just one rich tapestry, and I went down a rich -ed wormhole. All I was thinking about was Richard's. Richard Blackwood has been past, present, and future. He has acted, he has presented, he's done comedy, so I am going to guess Richard Blackwood. Okay, yes. go Richard Blackwood. Brilliant. Peter. Um, the tapestry thing, and the, this person presents the, the Great British Sewing Bee. And obviously there was lots of black and yellow tied in with the bee. American slang was just an average Joe. So I thought, Joe Lysett. That's so good. That got an applause from the audience, but I think it was definitely started by you, Davina. So <laughs> can he dance like that, though? Yes. 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 No, he, he can. Absolutely can. He totally can. Dancer. Hips don't lie. <laughs> Jonathan. Well, the big clues that we saw on stage that we haven't seen before, the dancers, they all had T-A or S-S written on them. Yeah. What, what is that? I wish I knew. <laughs> there was something about ambience and text, and I was thinking, could it be someone who actually fixes things? Could it be someone from the repair shop? Yeah. Wow. I think it could be Will Kirk, ladies and gentlemen. I can't tell whether that was an applause or whether it's like rain on the roof. <laughs> okay, do we have another clue? Yes. yes please. Okay, let's play one last game of Word Up. Candlestick, let's make this word count. Who are you? Three, two, one. Cheeky. Cheeky. I think that could sound like Richard or Joe, but it would be more Joe. Just yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, who's covering their tracks with a whole load of wax? We'll only know when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Candlestick! Yeah! Are the panels starting to see the light with their guesses? Who do you think's within the wick? 
The panel threw out really good guesses tonight, but are they getting warm? Nah. <laughs> All of our masked dancers have performed, and after the break, the studio audience will vote for their favourite. And you know what that means? Somebody's getting unmasked. <laughs> Got all my friends right here. We have seen seven sensational routines, and now it is time for our studio audience to vote for their favorite masked dancer. The two acts with the fewest votes will then face our panel, and it will be up to them to decide who is unmasked. While the studio audience votes, here's a reminder of tonight's performances. Can I call some mama? I'm so hard to handle now. It's a red. I can reveal that in no particular order, the mask dancers going through to next week are... Scissors! Yeah! Onomatopoeia! Yeah! Sea The final mask dancer coming back next week is... Pearly King! <laughs> Which means, unfortunately, tomato sauce and odd socks, you are in tonight's bottom two. Congratulations to the rest of you. We'll see you next time. Oh, the time has come. Panel, please discuss amongst yourselves and decide which character you would like to save. Tomato sauce or odd socks? The masked dancer the panel choose will continue in the competition. The other will be unmasked. Davina, have the panel come to a decision? We have. The person that we have decided to save is... Odd Socks. Odd Socks! Wow! Oh. Oh. Odd Socks, your secret is safe at four now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Odd Socks! Yeah. Tomato sauce, everybody. Yay! Sadly, your time on the mask dancer has come to an end, and in just a moment, you will be removing your mask. But first, panel, who do you think is behind the mask? Jonathan. OT did guess this person first. Yeah. I think it is Steph McGovern. <laughs> okay, Steph McGovern. Who are you going to say, OT? I think it's Steph McGovern. Interesting. Davina. I think it's the government. Okay. <laughs> Peter. Rebel Wilson is my guess. Okay, well, let's see if any of you are right. Tomato sauce, who is behind the mask? Take it up! Take it up!
Yes. Steph McGovern. Yes. Hello. Well, hello, Steph. You were so good. <laughs> How I loved it. I've had the time of my life. <laughs> You're an amazing dancer. Oh, thank you. We could tell you were having fun. It oh, really came yeah. across, didn't it? Because we were having fun watching yes. you. It was so much fun. The thing that our panel got hung up on all the time was the food references. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So everyone packed was lunch. going chef, packed chef, lunch. chef, chef, yeah, yeah. chef. Packed lunch, yeah. So packed lunch, right? Yeah, yes. packed lunch, that's what my show was called. So, yeah, so, so it was yeah. as simple as that. And your tomato sauce, that's yes. also a thing. Yeah. <laughs> How did you physically do this show? So basically, I sure came off air at five past two. I would run, oh. jump on the quarter past two train. Wow. wow. And then that's how I got here every time. Well, like, does the team know? No. Does anyone know? Oh, Nobody that's knows. so good! Stomach turning moment. What was that? It was when I was the producer doing uh, the news and I'd just been at a big party. Then I got a call saying we had to interview the Prime Minister. Oh. So I had turned up hungover basically and oh. I ended up throwing up in the loo. <gasps> in number 10. In 10 Darling Street. Steph, what did you think of some of the ridiculous guesses? I loved some of your guesses. Mick Hucknall was what I <laughs> <laughs> I'm still not convinced you're not Mick Hucknall. <laughs> 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 Did you enjoy yourself? I oh, absolutely loved it, honestly. You know, I did Irish dancing when I was a yeah. kid. And if someone had said to me then, one day you're going to get to perform on a shiny stage dressed as a massive tomato <laughs> sauce. <laughs> I, I loved every minute of it. And if you could have seen my face under the mask, honestly, I was like, ah, yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to see it now, so we get that treat to come. <laughs> honestly, you've been so great. Hasn't she been amazing yeah. on this show? Done. You've been absolutely amazing. That is all for tonight. We'll be back next week for more plot twists and turns. But now, performing one final time, unmasked at last, ladies and gentlemen, it's Steph McGovern! Yay, the end of back! Remaining six strut their stuff. Scissors. Odd socks. Candlestick. Onomatopoeia. Sea slug. And Pearly King. Plus, for one night only, Mo Gilligan is back. And another famous face is revealed.